Hi, it's Nat here. I've just got a quick tip for you for GarageBand on the iPhone. Uh, one of my students asked me, how can I get uh, the GarageBand on the iPhone to play all sections? So um, if you're not familiar with the sections um, in on the iPhone version of GarageBand, um, you can actually have a song and have like an A section and a B section and a C section. And what I'm doing is I'm just clicking my finger and dragging a little bit and then flicking all the way. Um, so when you create a song, um, you can add extra sections to it by hitting this little plus button right here. And then you can see that this is a really long song. It's got actually um, A through to G's. And then when I want to edit, say, section D, um, I just click on it there and it will take me there or I can use that swiping feature. Um, but th the problem is that some people have is that when they're on a section and they hit play, so my first section, um, I'll just play this section and you'll see what happens. It, it'll just keep looping this one section. So this one, you can actually change how long each section is um, in that same, in that other screen. So you'll see that it by default it'll just keep looping over that whole section. So the quick the quick answer is you just hit this little plus right here. Sorry, I just miss hit that there. Um, and then you just select all sections, and then select done, and then you'll see that it's got um, all my sections there. And you'll notice along this little line, um, it will basically say the section, there's B, C, Ds, that's a bar number 17, bar 17 is the start of D. And then it will play through my whole song, my whole arrangement for me. So if I want to go in and just do section uh, D, I hit the plus again, go to section D. And from that same menu, if I go back to that plus, I can actually um, hit the info, the little I there, and I can make this section more bars. I can make it 10 bars, I can double it to 16 bars, or I can shorten it down to four bars. So that's one little handy way of dealing with, you could even duplicate an entire section. So um, you hit that plus, and then you just hit duplicate. You can even add in a new section, by hitting the add button and it will pop it at the very end. If you want to change the order of the sections, just hit the edit and then you can hold your finger on these three lines right here and drag it and you'll see it'll 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 keep its name. Oh no, oh yeah, it will keep its name. So section H. Um, but you know, you can move it back down there. And if you want to get rid of a section, you just click on this bar and, and swipe to the left and hit delete. Um, so that's that's kind of like an arranging thing um, that's really, really handy. A lot of people get stuck with this because the default length of a song, I think, is just four or eight bars and they want to know how to get a longer song and um, you know how to play all the sections. So uh, I hope you found that one uh, valuable. It's just a quick little video there on sections. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.